it'd be nice to be able to jump around and kind of explore different uh, little sides of this. But let me ask one the sort of romanticized question. What to you is the most beautiful aspect or idea of risk instruction set or instruction sets or this yeah. the work well, that think, you've done? Uh, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, I, I was always attracted to the idea of, you know, small is beautiful, right? Is that uh, the temptation in engineering, it's kind of easy to make things more complicated. It's harder to come up with a, it's more difficult, surprisingly, to come up with a simple, elegant solution. And I think uh, there's a bunch of small features of, of risk in general that, you know, uh, where you can see this examples of keeping it simpler makes it more elegant. Specifically in risk five, which you know I'm I was kind of the mentor in the program, but it was really driven by Krista Sanovich and two graduate students, Andrew Waterman and Yensip Lee, is they hit upon this idea of having uh, a, a subset of instructions, a nice simple subset of instructions, like 40-ish instructions that all software uh, the software stack for RISC V can run just on those 40 instructions. And then they provide optional features that could accelerate uh, the performance instructions that if you needed them could be very helpful, but you don't need to have them. And that that's a new, really a new idea. So RISC V has right now maybe five optional subsets that you can pull in, but the software runs without them. If you just wanna build the just the, the core 40 instructions, that's fine. You can do that. So this is fantastic for educationally is you can explain computers. You only have to explain 40 instructions and not thousands of them. Also, if you invent some wild and crazy new technology like uh, you know biological computing, you'd like a nice, simple instruction set and you can risk five if you implement those core instructions, you can run you know, really interesting programs on top of that. So this idea of a core set of instructions that the software stack runs on, and then optional features that if you turn them on, the compilers were used, but you don't have to, I think is a powerful idea. Uh, what's happened in the past if for the proprietary instruction sets is when they add new instructions, it becomes required piece uh, and so that all all microprocessors in the future have to use those instructions. So it's kind of like, as, for a lot of people as they get older, they gain weight, right? <laughs> it's that, that weight and age are correlated. And so you can see these instruction sets get getting bigger and bigger as they get older. So RISC V you know, lets you be as slim as you're as a teenager and you only have to add these extra features if you're really going to use them rather than every it, you have no choice and you have to keep growing with the instruction set. I don't know if the analogy holds up, but that's a beautiful notion <laughs> to, uh, that there's, it's almost like a nudge towards here's the simple core. That's the essential. Yeah. I think the surprising thing is still, if we, if we brought back, you know, the pioneers from the 1950s and showed them the instruction set architectures, they'd understand it. They, they said, wow, that doesn't look that different. Well, you know, I'm surprised. <laughs> and it's there's it may be something, you know, to talk about philosophical things. I mean, there may be something powerful about those, you know, 40 or 50 instructions that all you need is uh, these commands like the, uh, these instructions that we talked about. And that is sufficient to build, uh, to bring about, you know, artificial intelligence. And so it's a remarkable surprising to me that as complicated uh, as it is to build these things, uh, you know, uh, uh, microprocessors where the line widths are narrower than the wavelength of light, you know, is uh, this amazing technology is at some fundamental level, uh, the commands that software executes are really pretty straightforward and haven't changed that much in, in decades, uh, of which uh, what a surprising outcome. So underlying all computation, all Turing machines, all artificial intelligence systems perhaps might be a very simple instruction yeah. set like like a risk five or it's yeah I mean I, I, that's kind of what I said I was, I was interested to see I had another a more senior faculty colleague and he he had written something in Scientific American and uh, you know his 25 years in the future and his turned out about when I was a young professor and he, and he said, yep, I checked it. And so I, was, I was interested to see how that was gonna turn out <laughs> <laughs> for me. And it, it's pretty, it held up uh, uh, pretty well. But yeah, so there's there's probably, there's some, I, you know, 
there's there must be something fundamental about uh, those instructions that we're capable of uh, creating, you know, intelligence at, from pretty primitive operations and just doing them really fast. <laughs>